Howdy folks, and welcome back. You're of course with Huey for our continuing adventures of now John Marston in our Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign replay. <clears throat> and I uh, hope you've been enjoying it so far. Um, this has slowed down considerably since the events of uh, Arthur's death. Um, but things should be picking up considerably. Uh, they already did at one stage. I mean, Uncle did get kidnapped by the Skinner brothers, so... Poor old bugger. But... We've just taken Abigail out for, um... Uh, for a photo and... Movies and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a movie... And she had to pick some some things up. Um, apparently, I've got to do some chores. Yeah, I don't really want to. Well, I did say I was going to do some chicken feed stuff, but we'll do that later. Ah, uh, really? Come on. It's gone and changed it back by default. Hang on, saved outfit? No. Yeah, it's gone and changed it on me. Four, four. That's not it. I actually might have been four or four. Sorry. Nah. Ah. <sighs> I think I might do it as a narrative thing. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can... There we go. As they gave him nightmares. Nope, that's uh. He and Princess Brea. Is that the boys' room. Seven happy children, and none of them ever no. knew that. Yes. Their father had once been the bravest warrior in the world. The end. Let's see if I can go around without triggering this. bathroom of sorts. No, that's the kids' room. What the hell? I don't know. I'm trying to avoid Abigail at the moment because I know it all. Maybe it was next to the bed. Maybe I'm not allowed to change. Hang on. What about this? Ah, oh, there we go. No. Search wardrobe. I'm not allowed to change my clothes. So it's... Almost certainly a narrative thing. Alright. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm. <sighs> I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? 
All this, all this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than, than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Okay. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Mike's boys is it? Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. <laughs> no, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman. Start a family, if I can. I see how that life... Well... I'd like to try it. Ooh, hey, John. You've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Mm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down to South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. Mm. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. All right. Let's go get him. Thing wouldn't work. Remember us? Get away from me. Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? I ain't seen him. Wait, wait, wait. You little... Where is he? No, 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 no. Come on. Where is he? Hey, 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 hey. Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. <laughs> Quit 
squirming. I told you. Don't dig your heels in. Stop Climb. Stay away. You heard the lady. Get up there. Listen to me. Keep moving. Hold on. Move. Come here, you bastard. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. Still. All right, string the no good murder bastard up. Let's try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, no, 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 no. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 we, 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 he, he's up in the mountains, I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen, we got a whole gang now, bad man, doing bad things, I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl, we fell out, honest, please, um, I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> Hang him. No. No. I mean, I told you. Uh, I can't do it, Sadie. Not like this. Thank you. Thank you, John. No, 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 no. Come on now. You won't ever see me again. I said hang him. Oh, as you wish. Oh. Piece of shit. Let's move on. Come on! A little rat said Mount Hagen. Yeah. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Yeah. Personally, I couldn't do it, so... We all ready? This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way! There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Shoot you off that rock! You got it! Okay, 
Let's go back to Charles. You got hit pretty bad. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. But go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. All right. Here they come. Wake up. That'll have to do. Have to do it. Too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up okay here in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just shooting? No. Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. That was Joe. We gotta be close. Mike, come out here. Joe, we're fine. Why can't I get my hat? Oh, there it is. I can only use one gun for some reason. Yep.
Um... Son of a bitch. Shit. Close enough. Shit, I thought I got him. Oh, I think I did actually. Nah, uh, should be fine for now. Another one of those. me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. 
Hmm. And the boy. Whatever you say. I got more men coming, John! You should run away! Oh, okay. Really? I was trying to run! Wouldn't let me run! Okay, I can't run, I've got to- I've got to stay there. Mrs. Adler, it's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you. I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. <laughs> Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me. Won't solve nothing! Put down your gun, Marston! Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> You shot me pretty good.
Thank you. I... I... Wow. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. Holy shit. It took him years to get it. <laughs> Shame I mucked that up by uh, not realizing I couldn't run from behind cover. That was. Jack, Uncle, come out here! It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in command and that's it by my side right here to where so, this will be the final stand. episode we'll fill it out with doing some other stuff but yeah right here, red, I love you in the world it seemed to Make sense when Brother Santo said a oh, one more run be enough. I'm gonna be enough. So for all of you who haven't seen or played the game, Money what did you think? Um, that was quite a lot a of uh, gameplay. Right that was I, I, I'm told the bare minimum for this. Uh, to do playthrough is about 60 hours. That's without s skipping cutscenes and all that. So, we did well over that. The beautiful part is that if you want it, you can keep playing afterwards. So... If you've got any um, loose ends to tie up, you want to do some extra stranger missions, you can actually do that. I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, Reg. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you and the world. But yeah, it's a good, very good prequel. Red. For the first Red Dead Redemption. And it's not often I say that about a prequel. I'm not a fan of this uh, country hick shit though. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm not a fan of westerns in general, but right, this game got me and it did for a lot of other people as well, so... So, um, yeah, of course we have to go through and show the credits of the incredible team that put this together. Like I've said, like I said in the very first episode, I've got a lot of bad things to say about the company, Rockstar, and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. 
But their ability to make a good single player campaign isn't one of them. Isn't one of them. They really do shine when it comes to that sort of thing. Well, they have thus far. Just a shame that they uh, like to milk the absolute crap out of a uh, what eight-year-old game now. Only eight years old. Of course, I am talking about GTA V. This game is an absolute masterpiece. I, it's a real shame they've uh, decided to neglect it in favour of GTA V. But it's easy money. I get why they've done it, why they've done it, but it's pure laziness on the company's part, not the developers, but the, uh, the actual company. Found him. Just a damn shame he can't get Red Dead Redemption One on uh, PC. Could always get an emulator though, I suppose. So, and on that topic, what do you guys think about that whole, I personally think it's a disgusting decision where there was a modder who actually recreated the entire uh, first Red Dead Redemption. I can't remember if it was using uh, this engine or the GTA 5 engine, but regardless, I thought, it, personally, I thought it was absolutely pathetic. On the, on the, and that's on, that's not necessarily Rockstar's fault. That's definitely Take Two Interactive. Charles is going off to make a life for himself. Definitely going to be getting a copyright claim for this episode. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe one of these days I'll do a uh, playthrough where I don't die so often. <laughs> Although I have seen some playthroughs, like, admittedly though, when the game was released, but yeah, I take some comfort in knowing I'm not I'm not the worst at this game. But I'm by no means am I anywhere near uh, some of the better players. But I enjoy it nonetheless. See the fire in your eyes. Oh, Mary Beth. See the fire in your eyes. See the fire. Doing? I got a feeling she might be part of a stranger mission. I probably we probably should check that out a bit. I don't know. And then there's Karen, uh, Tilly, 
Mr. Pearson. would still be alive. I know Strauss is dead. Um, I think that's it. If I'm forgetting anyone, I'm sure someone will correct me. After, yeah. Probably looking for Dutch. So he's hoping that not only do uh Rockstar do it a lot better with Red Dead Online. He's hoping they actually make some decent new titles, they haven't done so in a long while. Won't hold my breath, of course. Bill? What happened to Bill? Bill Williamson. Hopefully we'll find out. There's Tilly. Living in Saint Denis. By the looks of it. It's good, it gives you a little bit of closure, actually, with some, some of the characters. Is it? Can't quite make that out. It's uh, definitely a game that does not... I mean, in the beginning, it holds your hand a little bit, but after that, you just got to kind of work things out for yourself. Which, in a way, I guess is good. It adds a bit of replay value. Oh, there's Mr. Pearson running his own store. Good on him. That must be in Rhodes. Might have to travel around. 
See if we can find these uh, old friends. asking about that, all, all of them and sure who they're looking for exactly. Maybe it's a hint they're still looking for John? It could be. One of the first things I want to do, uh, I won't give it away until after the credits finish. Who are these people? There was a Mrs. Downs and... It kind of looked like Mrs. Downs, but I, I can't be sure on that. Don't know who the guy was. Yeah, but like I said, definitely going to get a copyright claim for this one. Several, probably. But I'm not too worried. As long as you folks enjoyed it, um, and are enjoying my yammering on, <laughs> then it's all good. Laszlo. Shame he's no longer with Rockstar. Damn shame. So many people worked on this game. Holy crap. This is like... Comparable, if not more than, uh, comparable with, if not more than a movie. Holy shit. Actually, Annisberg, um, who was it? Uh, The Professional did a really great video on why Annisberg is a shithole. I highly recommend it. Yeah. So check out the YouTube channel, The Professional, if you. I'm sure most people who are watching this have heard or heard of or uh, seen it, but uh, so. Not sure how long these credits go on for. I didn't sit through them last time, so a lot of this recap stuff or this uh, what do you call it? Finalizing stuff I, I've never seen before. Ah, oh, Mary. 
beautiful woman. I don't understand why everyone was saying she's not worth it, she's not worth it. I mean... When you compare how concerned for their partners they were, she's no worse than Abigail. I guess they all had a crush on Arthur. It's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> There's still more. That's right, because I, I know a bit about the, um, the whole premise for the first Red Dead Redemption game, so it kind of makes sense that they're looking for him. Not necessarily to arrest him, but to make him an offer. So it makes sense. I really do hope they, uh, the game does eventually come to PC, although as I understand it, I mean, talking first Red, De Red Dead Redemption, as I understand it, it was a bit of a mess when it first came out on console, so a port would uh, be difficult if not impossible, unless they used the same engine uh, to as, as this to recreate it, which for whatever reason they don't seem to want to do. So probably a business decision, which I'm no expert. I really don't know how smart that is. Rockstar and Take-Two have made it pretty clear there will be no single-player DLCs for this game. And, I mean, if they haven't come out by now, then they're not going to. Build testers. See, now, I'll, this is something else I'll give them. 
We're one of the few companies that actually have paid testers. A lot of gaming developers just rely on the general public. Kind of be guinea pigs. Which could go a, a little bit of a way in explaining why uh, the single player content is so top notch. Yeah, especially. I mean, it's not always the case, but um, a good amount of the time, uh, games tend to suffer. Especially when they do things like they come out pre-alpha, alpha, beta, so on and so forth. Oh, it's Rain's Fall. actors. After uh, Jim Boy Calloway's uh, book, uh, some just we just never pursued. Uh, whatever. <laughs> as voice actors. Vampire. We've even got the voice actors for uh, Red Dead Online. Jeez. So, we should be very close to the end. blown away by all the, the amount of people that were involved in this. It's insane. But it shows. It definitely shows. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> oh, so they use real... Real people to... They use real people's faces, did they? I mean, I guess they would have... Yeah, they would have had to... Have done... Those friends of mine who are watching this, um, and I know I have some uh, reasonably close, close friends subscribed to my channel who are, I interact with, you know, fairly regularly, who have also told me that they haven't uh, played this game. A couple have actually refused to watch uh, my series because they don't want spoilers. I laugh at that because I'm like, <sighs> it's kind of like complaining about spoilers of a TV or movie, a TV show or movie that you that was made back in 2016, 2017, and yeah. Anyway, uh, I'd love to get their thoughts on. Uh, what their experiences have been like uh, after playing it for the first time. Or if they don't mind spoilers so much. Like, I'm one of those people, like, I, uh... I was actually watching other playthroughs right through. My first time playing through, I was watching them as I was playing. And I got one or two little spoilers, it didn't bother me. Probably actually helped me a lot. Um, helped me quite a bit. Might not have uh, hurt to hurt to have done it again, so I didn't. You know, I don't think I cocked up that badly, but there were a few times there I was like, "Oh yeah, oops." <laughs> now, this is 2018 here. Um, of course, you, most of you will probably know this is when it came out on PC. I swear, I've seen credits shorter than this in some blockbuster movies. Tune. Best part is I know all the words. <laughs> Get all that, everyone? Good. Go 
goodness me. Disclaimers and holy crap. <laughs> A lot of re um, references to AMD, which is interesting. As we all know, this game tends to run a little bit better on um, NVIDIA. That's uh, interesting. Although, I am running the RX 6800 XT and uh, yeah, it's, as far as I can tell, it runs phenomenal, phenomenally on uh, this graphics card. Right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. I. So. Uh, I don't want to talk about that money. No more of that. Hang on. Mission. Oh yeah, there's no way I was going to be able to do that. <laughs> no way. It's over. Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. You okay, woman? Never better. Mm, me neither. Me neither. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it then. All right. All right, so we got a little bit of time to explore and there's some other stuff. Uh, so, let's have a look and see if we can finally put on. Would you look at that? So, I've got a winter outfit. I've got. Is that four or four? No. Yeah, it has changed it on me. Yeah, I'll have to go into my wardrobe. But, if you have a look, uh, if we hit alt, 20 grand. Not bad. So, we can go do a bit of shopping. You know, I don't know. I might do another episode just of, like, Wrapping up, well, not even wrapping up some side missions, but exploring a few locations, especially those. It's, uh, it's about nights. Nice. Mm. <laughs> anyway, especially the uh, some of those locations we saw in the uh, credits. Oh, family dinner. We can sit down to dinner. Isn't in that book of yours. English has talking horses. It's kind of cool. Let me get changed, woman. Can I am. Um... It's my wardrobe. God damn it. Where is my wardrobe? That... 
What? I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Those clothes I bought. Anyway. Let's sit down to dinner. And go. You can't complain about lots on your mind. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> Howdy. How's the boy? He's Jack. <laughs> Having a home. That's good for him. Uh huh. I talk to Uncle, yeah. How's your back? Giving me terrible pain. I'm lucky I wasn't smoked through. Yeah, you'll recover. And real quick, I bet. I'll see you around. All right, John. Can I talk to Jack? No. No, I don't. I eat too much of this, I might get fat. <laughs> Where do I... Um... What is going on? Is it stew? Do I go into the this kitchen? This food is good, and I won't hear otherwise. You alright, Jack? You'll catch a chill wearing that. Jack, my boy. I'm good, son. Never better. If you don't mind, sir. The conversations don't make any sense. Feed and cook? Sometimes. Oh, do you put it in there? Right. Um... <laughs> I don't know what the hell. What the hell? He's just walking around with a freaking plate. Hey, I've got a plate. What do I do with it? Help. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well. Still walking around with a plate. What happens when I hop on my horse? Speaking of which, we'll have to take a trip into town, because I can't figure out this stupid wardrobe. Um. Hang on. I think we got, we got, we're fight. Yeah, it's a glitch. Um, uh, geez. Now it says 76.7, so apparently there's like 24% still uh, discover yeah, missions and whatnot. So, yeah, maybe I will do another episode. Probably won't uncover everything. But, man, that <clears throat> it's a really, really good story. Um, in my opinion, better than GTA 5. And I enjoyed GTA 5, the story of the uh, campaign for that. All right. Well, okay, game, whatever. Let's head into uh, Blackwater. Go to the clothing store. Well, actually, go to the stables first. I want to get a new horse. Rachel's Rachel's been good and all, but what the hell's happened here? Hang on. No.
Anyway. Buy a bunch of provisions and whatnot. And I've got 20 grand, so... Twenty grand? You got twenty grand? I don't think I have any uh burdock root. Hang on. Um Yeah, I'll probably do. You're okay. For you, this That'll do. It'll be fine. Oh, so, we'll get a new horse. Change my clothes again. Okay, we'll start by getting some provisions, because I don't have any. Perfect, okay. Then, let's buy some horses. Arabian. Uh, it's actually pretty cheap. Hang on, let's see. Manage own horses. Yeah, we only got Rachel. Yeah, she's fine. Yep, buy a horse. Arabian, can I pick the colour? Maybe not. Oh, they're, they're the horses in stock. Maybe I should go to San Denis. Well, first, let's go to the clothing store. Get this friggin' outfit of mine sorted out. Wrong door, idiot. <laughs> Good to have you back in the shop, sir. Um, hang on, they got a wardrobe, don't they? Or a... Now just keep it civil, all right? There we go. Finally got my friggin' wardrobe. All right, outfits. We had. Kidding me. Yeah, it looks like I've lost it. Hang on. Homestead, uh. Oh, 
It's Arthur's. Hell yeah. Take it. Um, I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. That's Arthur's. Right. Shirt I'm fine with. Don't know, chaps or. What are the spurs I got? You'll find everything you need to look your best right here in this catalog. Pretty fancy. Uh, gloves. We had riding gloves. I'll put those on. And neckwear. I didn't mind that puff tie, actually. <clears throat> I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. You know, I was actually. Hang on. I was actually kind of getting used to. Um, oh, come on. I was actually kind of getting used to... Where was it? The shoe, uh, uh, the suit he had, this one. Yeah. So we'll put that on. Please, peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. Okay, hat. Hat, it's Arthur's hat. And I go... Uh... I think I need suspenders, nine. Four chaps. Four. The boots are fine. I don't think we have any masks. People say the mayor's gala of 99 was the best year ever. Why did you put that friggin' hat back on? I did not. Did I not? Oh, okay, I didn't select it. Alright. Uh. No. Oh, talisman. Okay. Well, you're welcome to try out your wardrobe in the changing room. So the Arthur Satchel or John's? I think John's goes better with that one. Weapon equipment. Gun belt, John's. Yeah, I want the upgraded. Upgraded gun belt. Probably should have done this before. If you need a nice place to try on your clothes, my changing room is available. Uh, upgraded holster. Upgraded holster. Bandolier. Upgrade of Bandolier. Much better. I had gloves. Riding gloves. Well, you're welcome to try out your wardrobe in the changing room. Neckwear. And the puff tie. Goes, it actually goes well with that, I gotta say. So now, hang on. If you need a nice place to try on your clothes, my changing room is available. How do you save a outfit? Oh, oh, it counts as a custom. So, all right. Looking pretty suave there, John. Please get away from there now. What are you talking oh, about? Sorry, partner. Just getting changed into my clothes because of my stupid wardrobe wouldn't let me. That's pouring down. Let's head to the fast travel. Not just 
such a cheap but a coward, you piece of crap? Hey, come on, what, what'd I do? Huh? You're with the trouble, old man. Keep some distance from that guy. Wanna die somewhere? Oh, take a gun when anything happens to him. Yeah, yeah, you just keep a hold on him. The friends have a way of disappearing when they're hijo de putas. You know, mine as stupid as you is mighty hard to read. Hit me. Well, I think our uncle's uh, maybe mix in some coffee with your next pour, huh? Yeah. You need a ride somewhere? I'm your man. Yes, I do need a ride. Take a ride. Can I get a ride? Where to, friend? Saint Denis. Saint Denis. That ain't no quick ride, so let's get going. It's quick enough. Yeah. What is my horse doing? Yeah. Yeah, indeed. So I think I'm pretty sure I need to go to here. Hey, it's moved, are you? Hello there. That's a girl. Look, what is it? Get out of here. How you doing, though? Okay. Get in there, I don't think. Oh. Can get in there. So this is a very large stable, so they should have a lot more horses available. It's going great. Huh. I'll take it. And, uh, let's give it the name Farlap. I can't think of anything else. Excellent choice, sir. Now, we're going to upgrade. Of course, the main. A well groomed horse is a real sign of class. Uh, actually, I kind of like that one. Good doing business with you. Tail. Long. Nothing better than a well-groomed horse. Is it that one? I think it's that one. Very fashionable. Bye. Well, thank you. Um. You know, horse care package equipment. Saddles. Real fine saddles here. You know, I'll probably just take that. That's fine. What about the saddle bags, though? It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. It'll do. Watch where you're going. So we got an Arabian. Um, so next, we'll uh, probably head over to Rhodes. 
and check out the general store because I'm pretty sure I saw Mr. Pearson over there. But that'll be for next time. Because we're out of time, folks. Um, so, yeah, next episode will be the final. Um, where we'll just do a bit of exploring, um, see what adventures we can get up to. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. Alright, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so we have finished the actual campaign. I'll just do, uh, like I said, in the next one, which will be the final episode, we'll just do a bit of exploring, see if we can tie up a few loose ends here and there. Uh, we'll do our best, but not really, you know, no uh, Fs given otherwise. <laughs> but uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed the series, and uh, we hope to see you next week for the final one. Anyway, this is Huey signing off, and until next time, take it easy. And bye for now.